so this video will be about uh, prime ideals and maximal ideals we begin with the, the definition of a prime ideal and we will move into a maximal ideal a proper ideal a of a commutative ring r so we have a ring here and here a sub ring and this uh, sub ring will be um, an ideal so it will absorb products okay a ear r ear r a and a r will be here okay you can check the previous video for this so a is a proper ideal of a commutative ring is said to be a prime ideal so this ideal will be a prime ideal of the ring if a and b in the ring um, and a b so i'm going to erase here i need this so if a and b um, is in the ring and a b so we have a here b here and a b here the product of a times b will be in the um, ideal a if a is in the ring and b is in the ring and the product is in the sub ring or in the ideal if this happens it implies that a that one of these should be here okay either this one is here or this one is here okay so I'm going to, to do it again we have a ring we have an ideal so if this is a if a b is here b sh if a is there b should be here okay so if this happens this is called a prime ideal if b is outside if b is not here if b is here then a should be here so if the product is in the ideal okay one of the elements should be in the ideal so this is called a prime ideal okay now a proper ideal a of the ring is said to be a maximal ideal maximal ideal of the ring if whenever b is an ideal of the ring and a is in b and b is a subset of the ring so this sub ring is a sub ring of b and b is a sub ring of the ring it implies that either b equals a or b equals the ring this is pretty intuitive meaning that um, a will be the maximal if there is no bigger one so if a is a subset of b means that b equals a or b or b is um, if a is a subset of b either b is the ring or b is a one of those so if this happens then a is the maximal the bigger ideal of the ring okay some quick examples for instance um, we can pick the um, the integers 
So in the ring of the integers, the ideal n z um, the ideal n z will be prime if and only if and only if n is a prime number. Okay, if n or if n is prime, if n is prime, then n z will be prime. Okay, another example. <coughs> we can. So in the. Um, um, I built here the lattice of ideals of the uh, z36. Okay, and here we can easily see that the. Um, the ring or the subring or the ideal 2 and the ideal 3 are the maximal these are the maximal ideals right because 4 for instance is an ideal of 2 okay so the maximal ideal is the one generated by 2 and 3. You can check all this. Okay, another example is this, the, that the ideal generated by the polynomial x squared plus 1 is maximal in the uh, ring of the polynomials uh, with coefficients in the reals. Okay, let us check that. Um, so we assume that um, let's assume that A is an ideal an ideal of the polynomials with coefficients in reals and let us say that a so let us say that x squared plus 1 is in a okay so we have to prove that either okay a equals the the ring of the polynomials with coefficients in the reals okay showing that a contains some non-zero real number c okay that means we have a polynomial a x equals c so equal a constant okay and if this happens so 1 will be equal to 1 over c times c in a and therefore I'm just sketching the proof I'm, I'm going quickly through this because I want to, to, to go into another subject so then you prove that a equals the reals uh, the polynomials with coefficients in the reals okay and you can use the same strategy as we used to the for the last proof okay showing that f of x equals q of x x squared plus one plus the remainder okay you can check the previous video for all this okay I'm just um, sketching the proof here and I just want to leave this as an exercise that uh, the ideal generated by x squared plus 1 is a maximal ideal in the polynomials with real coefficients. Okay. 
so the next is example is a very nice example and it shows how the prime ideals work so the ideal generated by x squared plus 1 is not prime in the ring of polynomials module 2 um, the ring of polynomials module 2 this is um, very easy to prove so let us pick for instance x plus 1 squared do not forget what a prime um, what a prime ideal is a proper ideal A of a commutative ring R is said to be a prime ideal of the ring if for A and B in the ring and A B in the ideal implies that one okay let me do one of my drawings here you have the ring here you have the ideal so now this will be called the prime ideal of the ring if for for if for all a and b in the ring so a b if a b is in the ideal this means that either a is in the ring or b is in the ring it can be a here and b there okay but one if a b is in the ideal either a or b will be in the ideal okay so that will be a prime ideal okay but this one this ideal is not prime in the ring of coefficients module 2 why is that so let us pick up this x plus 1 squared that is uh, x squared plus 2x plus 1 okay but module 2 it will be x squared plus 1 right but you don't have here x plus 1 so this ideal does not contain x plus 1 so this one cannot be is not not a, not a prime ideal okay so to finish I leave here two very important theorems the ring the factor the factor ring of the um, the factor ring of a ring and an ideal by an ideal is an, uh, uh, an integral domain if and only if a is prime let r be a commutative ring with unity and let a be an ideal of the ring then the quotient group or the um, factor group of the ring by the ideal is an integral domain if and only if a is prime another theorem the factor group of a ring by uh, is its ideal is a field if and only if a is maximal let r be a commutative ring with unity and a an ideal of the ring then the factor group of the ring by the ideal is a field if and only if a is maximal Both proofs are really easy 
I'm not going to, to do it now, but if anyone needs a proof or wants to, to, to see a proof for this, I, I can do a, a video for that.